Hi, this is Scary with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. I'm going to be doing a reading today for the month of June. Hi Aquarius, how are you? I'm just going to be shuffling now. I decided to do my reading this way because it's summertime and I like to wear my swimsuit during the summer. Like, you'll hardly catch me not in a bathing suit during the summer. It's just too hot to wear anything else, plus I have a pool, so. I was facing the fire pit, but it's being moved again, apparently. <laughs> Alright, Aquarius, I have your reading. Let's see, I have it upside down. Just, let me switch it. Okay, this is interesting. You might want to check out the Scorpio reading because they got some of the same cards. And um, the, th the thing is, is that they got them in the same places too, which is weird. But I guess we'll see. All right. So for your overall, we have Knight of Pentacles, okay? So, possible Earth sign influence, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? But, hang on, let me pause. Sorry about that, I have all of my kids home, so. They're liable to interrupt me during my readings, unfortunately. Um, okay, where was I? Okay, so possible earth sign influence, okay? Your ruler, Uranus, just moved into Taurus. So I think that... I think that... I'm so sorry. I think that transit was significant for you guys. Hang on, let me pause again. I'm guessing there's some sort of squirrel in the tree or something because my dog keeps barking at the tree. Anyway, I'm so sorry, guys. Anyway, um, I believe that your ruling planet's transit into Taurus was pretty sig significant for you guys, okay? Um, it brings a whole different energy and feel to it, okay? It actually feels, even though it feels more grounded, it actually feels a little more chaotic. Like, I thought that... Uranus and Aries was chaos, but no, 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 no. Uranus and Aries was actually like a lot of upgrades, a lot of inspiration, okay? Really uh, growing in your spirituality. Uranus and Taurus is also going to be upgrades, but of a different kind, okay? Not only is. Um, our spirituality being upgraded, but the whole physicality, our bodies, the earth, is all being upgraded, okay? Everything's alive. Um, Knight of Pentacles can be sort of a reckless character, okay? As I said in the Scorpio reading, I'll just repeat it here. Knight of Pentacles can be somebody who spends too much money, doesn't really save for the future, parties too much, okay? Even though... Hang on. Okay. Um, I completely lost my train of thought. So... Uh, I'm just going to go to the first week, okay? So for the first week, we have strength, okay? Card of Leo. Right now, the north node is in Leo. Leo is opposite your sign, so that means that the south node is in your sign, Aquarius, okay? So in the first week of June, you guys are going to need to gather your strength, okay? Um, because it looks like... Um, this transition is going to be a little on the rocky side to put it to put it mildly okay 
let's just say that this transition could be complete chaos for you. In the second week, we have Knight of Rods. Scorpio also had Knight of Rods in the second week, okay? So, possible fire sign influence. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We already know that the North Node is in Leo. So... Let me just say that if you are dealing with somebody like the Knight of Rods or Wands, they can be a little hot-headed, okay? They can be the type of person that's likes to argue for the sake of arguing, okay? They might even argue that... Um, uh, that the sky, you know, is actually the ground and the ground is, you know, our feet are actually, you know, touching the sky. I don't know. All right. Just, just for fun. Just playing devil's advocate. Um, and that's something that you guys can do. You guys like to do that. You guys like to help people expand their their mind by being argumentative and being contrary, okay? But make sure that when you when you engage with people in that way that you don't do it in a way that burns bridges or causes a bunch of drama, okay? Make sure that you keep your head on your shoulders and your feet on the ground. Or vice versa, whichever way you like it, Aquarius, but you know, don't start shit. There won't be shit. All right? Because in the third week, we have seven of swords. Oh, somebody's starting some shit, Aquarius. And I really hope it isn't you. But it might be. Okay? Seven of swords is a person. Possible air sign influence. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That is does not play fair okay they do not play fair they are very deceptive they're very ma manipulative um or machiavellian if you want to say that um they don't really care about anybody else and all they want to do is cause conflict and try to take other people's power away from them okay they just want to make people just crazy. They're crazy makers. Okay, so possible narcissist or psychopath. Alright, or sociopath. Alright, because all three of those types of people do that. So, either you're dealing with somebody like this, or you're acting like this. And if you're acting like this, Aquarius, it's going to come back to you. Like, you are going to reap the karmic rewards from that, and it is not pretty. I have seen what that does to a person, okay, when they act in this way. Um, they end up reaping a bunch of just misery into their lives, okay? They're never happy. All they can do is drag others down, all right? In the fourth week, we have the devil, okay? card of Capricorn. Capricorn is the sign that precedes you, which is also ruled by Saturn, your co-ruler, okay? So, you could be stuck in a situation that you feel like is, oh, I just got this yucky feeling in my tummy. You could be stuck in a situation where you feel not only obligated to oblige somebody like this, but where you feel like you cannot get out of it, okay? Like, this person is, like, abusive in every sense of the word, okay? They will try to cut you down any which way they can, all right? They don't care about anybody else. They want everyone to be as miserable as they are, okay? They're just miserable fucking people. Alright?
you could also be dealing with some addictions, okay? Because the devil card can also deal with addictions. Um, if you are battling with an addiction that you feel like you can't get away from, then go get help, okay? Go seek outside assistance. There's no shame in getting help, Aquarius, okay? But there can be a lot of shame in not doing what you need to do to free yourself from this devil, okay? Devil could also be obsessive thoughts, okay? Or controlling behavior, or, you know, whatever is keeping you chained to a situation that you would rather not be in needs to be dealt with, okay? You don't want to be in this situation, all right? This situation sucks. It is not ideal. All right. I love you, Aquarius. I wish you the best for this June. Bye.